transistor configuration namna gani ambapo tunaweza tuka arrange transistor yetu kama ulivyoona eh tuna npn nimesema tunatumia npn ngas kusema sababu kwa nini tunatumia npn lakini tunatumia npn ili ni swali ambayo ni common okay ni swali ambayo ni very common kwa nini tuna prefer kutumia npn kuliko pnp ni kwa sababu unapoongea npn charge carriers majority ni electrons okay tofauti na pnp tofauti na pnp unapokuwa na pnp majority charge carriers ni holes okay ni holes lakini tumesema holes zina depend na electrons ku move sasa kama electrons ni ndio huyu slightly doped base kama anawategemea wa ku move na wako wachache automatically watakuwa slow so npn ni more sufficient kwa sababu ni quick in response sawa so, kwa sababu ni independent charge carriers electrons ndio zinakuwa majority kwenye movement ya ya, ya, ya charges na current sawa so, mm -hmm. so now you know So hapa kuna transistor configurations. Kuna transistor configurations ambapo despite the fact kwamba hapa ni emitter, base na collector. Still kwenye circuit yetu tunaweza tuka kwa sababu hizi tumesema ni terminals, okay? Hizi ni terminals. Tunaweza tukatengeneza circuit yetu ikawa in such a way terminal moja ndio ikawa common kwa sababu transistor is all about forming two loops two loops of the of the current okay to go depending on what we want from the loops tunaweza tukaamua termino ipi iwe common ndio maana tuna three ways za ku connect za ku configure transistor yetu kwa unaweza tukawa na common base tunaweza tukawa na emitter ndio iko common sawa kwamba hizi zote mbili zina share termino termino ya emitter inakuwa shared kama ni common emitter termino ya base inakuwa shared kama ni base termino ya collector inakuwa ni shared kama ni common base tutakuja kuona maana yake kwa msiogope but before we start mm -hmm. before we start as i said we usually use npn unless otherwise stated labda kama amekuindicate that don't use npn use pnp kawaida wa kutest kama umeelewa au vitu kama hivyo because kama unaelewa you should be able to convert explanations kutoka kwenye npn kuelezea pnp okay So we use npn kama nilivyosema kwa sababu majority charge carriers ni electrons na zenyewe zinakuwa independent. Lakini tukitumia pnp majority charge carriers ni holes ambazo zina depend na electrons. Lakini kwenye pnp n ile ni slightly doped kuna kuwa na electrons chache. Kwa kama inawategemea wale wachache automatically inakuwa slow in function. Kwa npn is usually quick and fast in response. Again you will always encounter the following voltages kwenye hizo configuration kuna kitu tutaita vcc it means hizi ni supply sawa ni supply uh, voltages from the batteries kwa utakuta sometimes anaandika vs to mean v supply vcc kama hiyo battery iko kwenye collector vbb kama hiyo battery imekuwa connected upande wa, 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 wa base vge kama hiyo battery imekuwa connected upande wa emitter so it will depend you will meet this again tutakuwa na vce which is the voltage along the collector emitter junction sawa so, collector emitter junction kwa kwenye ka collector emitter junction pale kama ni pnp kama ni pan npn okay tuna emitter tuna base tuna collector so tunaposema vce ni voltage across the collector and the emitter kwa ukichukulia collector na emitter <coughs> ambao ni transistor yote sasa sawa so, sababu ni collector na emitter ndio wako pembeni so inakuwa ni vce vb similarly ni voltage ya across the base na emitter kwa ukichukulia base na emitter kwenye hii junction hapa hiyo ndio inakuwa voltage vs vbe usually depends on the material used to manufacture the the transistor kawaida huwa inakuwa ni constant value depending na material yote inaweza transistor e, kama ni silicon nakuta ni 0.7 volts huwa ni kama constant flange mara nyingi unapewa Eh, na sometimes huwa wow, wakitaja material flani kwamba this transistor is made of silicon sawa so, utakuta kwenye data given pale ambapo kwenye page ya kwanza kwenye mtieni ambapo anaandika where necessary use the following constant utaona kwamba voltage for silicon ni 0.7 au 0.4 sometimes kwa germanium na vitu kama hivi 
So hii usually na depend na type of material iliyotumika kutengeneza transistor huwa ni kama const, constant flan hivi. Again we have VCE uh, imerudiwa hii VCE ambayo ni between collector na emitter uh, ambayo ni across the whole transistor kama ni hivyo sema. Only that baadaye kurudia tuweza tuka tuseme tukaona kwamba kuna nyingine hapo ambayo inaweza ikawa kwa sababu VCE tunayo tayari VBE tunayo lakini tunaweza tukawa na VBC tunaweza tukawa na V B C the voltage across the base na collector voltage across the base na collector hapo inaweza ikawa kama hivyo Again tutakuwa na VI na VO which means V input na V output respectively ambazo zitakuwa ni across the input and output resistors respectively tutakuja kuelewa maana yake sawa so, usually the product of the current passing through the input resistor times the current that is passing times the resistance of the input resistor itself au kama ni output voltage inakuwa ni product ya output current depending na configuration and times the resistance of the uh, output resistor yenyewe sawa so, just remember kwamba kicho slow is very important here kama uko competent kwenye kicho slow just know kwamba haya maswali ni kama version ni nyingine tu ya maswali ya umeme so they are very 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 easy nisikize tu kwa makini kicho slow kama uzifahamu kicho slow please visit my lesson my second lesson ya current electricity second lesson ya current electricity sio kwamba ni lesson ya pili second lesson ya current electricity ambayo ni lesson ya ya nne nafikiri so you can you can check nimeelezea kicho slow so they are useful here so we have depending as i said ip unataka kuifanya iwe common ip iwe ni shared terminal tunaweza tukawa na common base tunaweza tukawa na common emitter tunaweza tukawa na common collector and everywhere remember that principle kwamba ie is equal to ic plus ib at least according to kicho's first law of electrical networks So to start with common base tunaweza tukaiconfigure circuit yetu ikawa namna hii hapa okay tunaweza tukaiconfigure circuit yetu ikawa namna hii hapa kama unavyoona kama unavyoona hii ndio transistor yetu na huku ndo sehemu ya emitter hii ndo sehemu ya collector na hii ndo sehemu ya base kwa kama unavyoweza kuona nilisema kama tunatumia NPA ni umeme unatoka kwa usi usi angaike kukalili forward bias emitter base si collector base just remember kwamba connect transistor kama ni NPA ni umeme unatoka kwenye hii ukija kwenye junction hapa una split unaenda kuform IB na IC just remember jinsi ya kuziweka hizo battery kwa kutumia hiyo principle which is forward bias ipi ni reverse bias unaweza kuzia range is better okay and for this case this is the input and this is the output as you can see we have two loops upande huku na upande huku what is common is the base terminal tunakuwa shared na upande wa input na upande wa output ndio maana tunaita common base so our interest here ni kuangalia hii arrangement sawa kama unavyokuona unaweza ukaona hapa ni input resistor hapa ni output resistor na hii ndio ile ambayo tunaita vcc ni sema ni supply ambayo iko upande wa collector na VEE supply ambayo iko upande wa emitter. Sawa. So, so our interest here is to know the amplification factor and our point of interest hapo. Kwa maana current amplification au current gain tunafanya hadi. Tulipitia hapo nyuma tukasema tunaomba ongelea gain, tunaongelea output parameter over input parameter kwa output current over input current. Lakini kama nilivyo sema upande wa input upande wa output Okay. Tuza tukaona upande wa output, output yetu ni in form of IC. Upande wa input output yetu ni in form of IE. So tunajua kwamba current amplification factor yetu alpha is equal to IC over IE. Important not This is very important. Not that hizi simbo hatujaamua tu kuchagua ku, ku, kuandika hiyo simbo. Hizi simbo hazichanganywi, haziazwi mixed. Sawa? So, E alpha inatumika kwa hapa utaona baadaye kuna beta kuna gamma kwa hiyo kila transistor ina simbo yake ambayo imechaguliwa hii ni very 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 important kukumbuka hiyo kwamba hii simbo ndio itakusaidia kujua kwamba hii gain walionipa ni aina gani kwa sababu there are some questions and cases ambapo unapewa swali la common base lakini kwenye data wamekupa beta data ambayo ni amplification, amplification factor common emitter huwezi kaitumia hapo unless we convert it switch kwenye 
swali lako kama ni common base uko convert ile gain ya kwenye common emitter iwe gain ya common base tunaona jinsi ya kuziconvert so you have to know the symbols but we know ie is equal to ic plus ib we can manipulate this equation further lakini ni mbwembo tu hizi ic over ic plus ib kwa sababu ni ie voltage gain ni product to ya current na resistance kama ni sema kama output current ni ic output resistor ni r not here hapa over ie ambayo ni input resistance input current times r i ambayo ni input resistance unapata Uh, voltage gain but you remember i see over e ni current gain so voltage gain ni sawa sawa na uh, current gain times resistance gain this they usually call it resistance gain resistance gain okay so it's the current gain times the resistance gain for power you just complete kama ni v not kama ni vosema pale ni sawa sawa tuna voltage gain times current gain kwa ni kwa v output times current output over v input times i input you remember v not also is given by that so you can manipulate as far as you want tukija kwenye common emitter sasa tukaona tumegeuza sasa mchoro wetu tumegeuza mchoro wetu transistor yetu tumegeuza namna hiyo tunataka emitter iwe common kama unavyoona tumegeuza emitter umeona unatoka kwenye emita. Ukifika hapo na split kwenda kuform base na kwenda kuform eh uh, collector ambayo ndo nakuja kuingia huko. Just remember huko ni input na huko ni output. Sawa? Remember huko ni input na huko ni output. Kikubwa hapo ukumbuke input ilifanya upande gani kwa sababu unaweza kujiuliza swali kwa nini huko sio output? Kwa nini huko sio output? Kwa nini huko sio input? So cha muhimu ukumbuke tu kwamba kwa mfano kwenye common base input na kwa ni upande wa emitter. Emitter ikiwepo isipokuwa common is always the input. Eh kwa sababu kwa sababu yenyewe ndio ina emit electrons yenyewe ndio ina ingiza electrons kwenye transistor kwa sababu ina emit. Just remember whenever the emitter is not the common term you know it's always the input. So for, for a case ambapo emitter yenyewe ni input inafuata base kwa sababu base isi inachukua na yenyewe ina emit kwenda kwenye collector so in case emitter isipokuwepo base inaweza kafanya kazi ya ku input okay so the base inakuwa <coughs> upande wa input collector inakuwa upande wa output so ukija kwenye current gain this time is represented by beta sometimes they use this symbol hfe so just remember these symbols inakuwa kwenye common emitter so remember the output current ni ic input current ni ib Similar ukija kwenye voltage gain na kuwa IC times output resistor over IB times input resistor. So na kuwa current gain times the resistance gain. For power gain again naweza ukamalizia kama tulivyofanya the previous example. Okay? Ukija kwenye common collector sawa? So, eh, kwa vile what is common? Unachora transistor yako, unamwachia emitter anatoka huko umeme unaenda ukifika kwenye junction na speed kuforma IC na IB na connect batteries according to the principle of emitter base junction forward bias collector base junction reverse bias unaziconnect sahi kwa sababu kizigeuza tu tayari unabadilisha meaning so you have to be careful when, when especially when you ask to draw ukumbuke jinsi batteries zipo kwa arranged so similarly the symbol is gamma okay so we know that output ni IE over input ni IB again IE tunajua ni sana IB plus IC so we have 1 plus ic divided by ib as the gamma uh, which is the current gain so for voltage gain as previously tulivyofanya na power gain kama tulivyofanya mara ya mwisho kwa hiyo kumbuke cha muhimu um, symbol ya kila configuration ni ipi na ina, ukisha kumbuka symbol inakuwaje ukikumbuka jinsi inavyocholwa mchoro unaweza kukumbuka formula ilivyo kuwa just remember when the emitter is not the common terminal it's always the input kama in case emitter ndo anatumika common terminal anafuata anayefuata ku emit ambayo ni ni base cause na cause nene namna hiyo labda kwa kusaidia njia kukalili unaweza kukumbuka kwamba hii beta ukiangalia hii beta imekaa kama hii flani hivi si ndio ndio maana common emitter ni symbol ya common emitter sawa so, imekaa kama e flani umeona e umeona zama fa fanana kwa na kwa common emitter lakini kwa collector inakuwa ni hivi 
si ndio tunaoa simbo wawili kuna huyu na huyu lakini huyu amekaa kwenye bezi yake umeona amekaa kwenye bezi so kwa vile amekaa kwenye bezi haiwezi ikawa ni common bezi kwa automatically huyu ambaye amekaa kwenye bezi sio common bezi anakuwa ni common collector afu huyu ambaye hajakaa kwenye bezi sawa hajakaa kwenye bezi ndio common bezi sasa umeona kwa kwa vile hii ndio bezi mwa amekalia kwenye bezi yani hapa bezi kabisa umeona lakini yeye sio common bezi yeye ni common collector huyu ambaye hajakaa kwenye bezi sasa yeye ndio common bezi naweza kusaidia kukumbuka simba i hope imekusaidia kusaidia